Hi there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me during the holiday season. I hope that you're enjoying it. So today I'm going to show you how to create an arc of a specific length. Oh, sounds easy, doesn't it? If you ever tried it, not quite so easy. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the secret today, all right? So I'm going to go into the arc command. Let's say my goal is to create an arc that has a length of 10. If you take a look at the options, really nothing shows up that makes me think I could tell it the length. Really, there's nothing in the arc command for selecting the length. All right, well, let's see. What if I go to properties? Maybe I can change it in properties. We'll go into properties. And here you'll see in properties that there is an arc length on here, 13.4583. Let me just, oh, denied. It won't let me change the value. I can't go in there and edit that value. Ugh, that's crazy. That's all right. While I'm at it though, I'm going to change the radius because you might have a specific radius you also want for this arc or a specific start point, whatever the situation is. Let's get that point nailed down, right? So I'm going to say a radius of 5. But you, as you can see by looking at the length, it still isn't 10. All right, how are we going to change it? Easy. We're going to go into the lengthen command to control the length of that arc. Make sense? Now that's on the modify panel of the home tab. So we'll come down here. It's hiding. You have to, you have to drop that down. We'll pick lengthen. And I'm going to start off by telling it the total length. I want the total length to be 10. All right, there we go, 10. Select an object to change. Now, it does matter which end you pick because that is the end that's going to be lengthened or shortened. All right, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick this end over here, and you'll see that it made it a little bit longer. And now that arc has a length of 10. Don't believe me? Let's go into properties. Come into properties. Let's just see what we have here. We come down. We have an arc length of 10, and I kept my radius of 5. Awesome. Fabulous. That's pretty easy. It is two steps. You have to make the arc first, and then you need to change the length using the length and command. But it, it can be done. It's wonderful, right? That's a great tip. So I hope that you enjoyed this, and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks.